Hi guys, Julianne from Biomechanic Physical Therapy here today to talk to you a little bit about some shoulder injuries. Um, so a lot of times in the clinic here we'll see a little bit of a tendonitis of the shoulder uh, which sometimes can be from an impingement which basically means the tendon um, can get um, impinged in the shoulder here in the front. Um, if the patient here turns a little bit. Today we're going to talk about the supraspinatus, um, which actually is a rotator cuff muscle. You may have been concerned at one point in time you may have had a rotator cuff muscle tear. Not rotary cuff, but rotator cuff muscle. The supraspinatus muscle lies here in the top of the fossa of the um, scapula, and if you actually palpate that muscle, you might find it might be tender um, if you have injured the muscle before. In this case, if you do have a tear, even palpating the muscle would probably, the patient would wince in pain, okay? Um, this muscle actually comes around and talks, touches to the anterior of the shoulder. So today I'm going to show you a couple things that might help better diagnose your shoulder problem and maybe a potential rotator cuff. First of all, if you have a little resistance onto the muscle, so this muscle actually does an abduction motion. So if you, if you were going to raise your arm to the side, so if you raise your arm to the side and were to apply a little resistance, that would be painful to the patient if you had a true rotator cuff. If it was fully torn, it might not be painful, but you wouldn't even be able to lift your arm. It would be too weak to even be able to resist that motion. Um, also, you can stretch that muscle, so coming in the opposite motion across the body. If that hurts, you might also have a partial rotator cuff tear, or just again, another tendonitis that might be leading to a potential rotator cuff. If there's no pain at all, again, it might be fully torn. Um, one other way to find out and fully diagnose would be a drop arm test. You might see us do this in the clinic, but you can try it on your own. You can even help your arm up into an abductive position and then see if you can hold the arm there with letting go. The goal is for the patient to let the arm down nice and slow and controlled. If this were a tear, it might look more like something like this where the patient couldn't hold it up. They would also win some pain or even bring it up and they would say, no, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, do it. can't do it. Okay? For more information on any shoulder injuries or if you found any of these tests to be positive, feel free to visit us on our website, like us on Facebook, or watch us on our YouTube channel. Thank you.